Take a break here. Your chest. Maybe I'll throw a few lines. Oh, right! That's the stuff. Something's off. Might want a mana sense around. Huh. Didn't expect this here. Be a way to climb up somehow. Let's poke around the yeah. area. here. That waterfall flows out of a caldera. Not a bad view at all. I heard there was a huge eruption here a long time ago. It's hard to picture. Expect this here. Switch. Yeah. 
solves it. Yeah, nice. It worked. We should try grabbing any other spots that look like they might budge. Dodge me! Dodge me! How's that? Switch! There! Get him! Something's here. here.
chase you've sent us on. You've given us way more trouble than we should put up with from an old codger like you. Looks like we finally found our man. Switch! Freeze! There! There! Switch! Ah! Yeah! Hit! dice! Burn a place! Get him! Hit! Hit! Well, hello there. I wondered if that might have been you and your friend, Adel. Oh, figured it out, did you? Thank you both for saving me. So you were the one who made those poisoned arrowheads? That's correct. It's something I looked into while I was being held captive. I'd love to fill you in on the situation, but my companion is still in trouble. I'd appreciate it if you could go and help him. He stayed back on the summit in order to give me a chance to escape. I doubt I would have survived this long on my own without him. All right, we can talk later. Let's get going. Sense might come in handy here. Switch! Dodge this! Freeze! Huh? How's that? Huh? Huh? Freeze! Yeah. Switch! Yeah. Blast off! Yeah. 
Let's catch our breath. Damn. They've already started fighting. Sorry, but I'm just a bit part, so I don't get to close out the scene. But no need to worry. Look, the leads have finally arrived. What pointless drivel are you spouting now? Hmm. A red-haired boy and a blonde girl? The ones from the report. Hey there, Adol. Karja, I was starting to wonder if you'd ever show up. One thing led to another, and, well, this is just where I ended up. Sorry to dump this on you, but you'll have to take over here. Hartel and Karja, the mana users that injured Lady Earth. I fretted over what punishment I would receive for letting the prisoners escape, but now, it seems my luck is finally starting to turn around. Come. I'll personally deliver your heads to Lady Yurn. Be careful, brother. This one seems way more capable than the others. Switch! You two are really something. Could say the same about you, honestly. You were doing pretty well to hold your own against a Grieger like that. That's high praise coming from the famous pirate princess herself. I'm honored. Hey, Rafe! Dr. Flair. Thank goodness. Looks like we both made it through in one piece. See? I told you Adol and the others would show up just in the nick of time. And so they did. 
Your intuition was spot on, son. This isn't making much sense to me, but there's no point standing around on this island. We'll hear the rest of your story after we get you back to the Sandras. I was captured almost immediately after Karnak was attacked. But when they found out I had medical knowledge, they allowed me to stay as a human aboard Yurth's ship. It seems she wanted me to develop drugs she could use for torture. So that's why you weren't turned then? And why you had a poison that could even affect Rieger? I may not look it, but this isn't the first time I've been in a pickle, as fate would have it. I spotted your ship from my cabin window when you got into that battle over in the Osmid Expanse. Upon learning you were out there, I knew that as long as I stayed alive, we'd meet again someday. <laughs> I can definitely see why you and Adel are friends. After we split up, it was an eventful evening, let's call it. Once you'd all left, I ended up surrounded in the old shipyard. Cruz and Rosa had been captured by that point. I tried my best to fight back, but there's only so much you can do against enemies that can't die. Eventually, my last resort was to make a break for the harbor. I stowed away on a Grieger ship there, which just so happened to be the same one Dr. Flair was being held on. I lucked out and ran into him, after which he let me stay hidden in his cabin. Then, a few days ago, we heard the Krieger saying the Sandras had arrived in the Sanelia Basin. So as soon as the ship we were on made port at Fallen Island, we took the first chance we saw to make a run for it. Unfortunately, they realized we were missing a lot sooner than we bargained for. So, we had no choice but to dash over to Kalon Island and hole up here. Definitely sounds like you've been through a lot. No, 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 uh, no way! That's not the part I want to hear about! I mean, I did want to hear about that, too, but that's not my point! Oh, you're all here. Gren, calm down a little, will you? I don't blame him for being so surprised, though. It is hard to believe you were capable of all that without us ever even knowing. What is it you're hiding, Rafe? One look, and I can tell you're no different from me. We both make a living by the blade. Hmm. <sighs> is that true, Rafe? Since when? You told us you left town to go work in a mine, didn't you? I said that, yes. So was that a lie then? Yep, every bit of it. <laughs> I've actually been working as a mercenary. After leaving town, I ended up falling in with a mercenary band from Ispani. A, a mercenary band? And from Ispani? Wha what were you thinking? As far as the Romans are concerned, Ispani is just another hostile nation, the same as Denmark. If they found out you're working with these Spanish mercenaries, they'd execute you on the spot. Why? Why do this? And why didn't you tell us? Huh? Was it really something I needed to share with the class? Bastard! <laughs> Gren, you always had a real knack for pissing me off. <laughs> Stop it, you two! I've still got more to say to this! Shut it, Gren! We didn't save Wraith just so you could vent your personal issues. You two want to slap each other around? Do it on your own time. <laughs> Wraith, since you're a mercenary, I won't mince words. You owe us for saving you. I want you to share whatever information you've uncovered. <laughs> no need to play hardball. I'm more than willing to cooperate. That's right. There's a lot we need to tell you, Adol. Are you familiar with Raffos Island? Raffos Island? The one the White Whale was protecting? That's the one. Apparently, the White Whale is under the Grieger's control, too. <gasps> I thought he was acting strange. So that's what was going on. And that's not all. The Grieger are building themselves a fort on Raffos Island. They are? Yes, and some of the people from Ilma Village are being forced to help them do so. After they were all changed to Grieger, just like the people of Karnak. That... that's so cruel! Uh, hold on a minute. Is there Fortify in their position like that? It's gonna make it nearly impossible for us to get all the way to the south. That's right. The Marine Triangle and the Sonelia Basin. They keep those two locations blocked. 
and the Balta Sea Force's mobility is cut off completely. For real? What are we supposed to do then? It sort of seems like our only choice would be to take down the fort on Ralphos Island. Is that even something we can manage? The Undying Fleet in this area is split into three separate divisions that act independently from each other. One at Kalon Island, one at Fallen Island, and one at Raufos. If we attacked the fort and all three of them converged on it, that'd really gum up the works, wouldn't you say? So then we'll have to wipe out each division individually before they have a chance to reassemble. Our first target will be the one here on Kalon Island. After that, We'll deal with the one on Fallen Island. What about Ralphos? They've got the White Whale on their side, right? Yeah. We're gonna have to do something about him. <sighs> Hoogle? A letter. It's from Ilmer Village. Hopefully, yeah. What did they write? The Grieger that were occupying the village have started to withdraw. Looks like they're planning to head for their fort on Ralphos Island. So they've already started. Things are moving a bit faster than I'd hoped. We'll have to figure out how to deal with the White Whale later. Right now, our top priority is to take out the Undying Fleet at Kalon and Fallen. Way Anchor! Aye aye! Let's not go this way. All right, let's disembark.
There they are. Go ahead, you two. Show me how it's done. I'm gonna need you to pull your weight, too. Let's go, Adol! Island. How did I get all the way over here? You're Rosa's dad, right? First things first, we need to get you somewhere safe. Adol, Karja. Oh, Rafe. Good timing. Glad to see you're okay, Mr. Rusveri. Rafe? You're here as well? It's been so long. Adol, you and Karja still have things to do, yeah? I can take Mr. Rusveri back to the Sandras with me. Perfect. That'd be a big help. By the way, was he the only puppet Grieger here? Got it. You two be careful then.
minutes. Welcome. Here you are. A pleasure. A pleasure. Anything else? Good. Right? Do you come? Mankind and the sea are bound. Anything else? She's looking mighty fine now. <laughs> She's looking mighty fine now. Become one with the ship. Anything else? I'll be prick. Hmm. You finished. Use it well. Here, take it. You need anything? In <laughs> and away we go. All right, better mark this area on the map. What's this? Something's got to give or we'll be screwed. We must do. I need a break. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> Here, this... Let's see. I see. It may not be my...
Need some. Need me to just holler if you. Welcome. Anything else? Don't be a stranger. Ah. There, take this with you. Anything don't st Hey! Hit me up, whatever. Hope you're hungry. Come again soon. for a truly stunning ship Anything I'll be Yeah Oh Seems we got fish in the water Maybe I'll throw a few lines is killing me! Got a bite! That's the way! I'll help out! Okay, let's reel it in! Come here, you! You put up quite a fight! Nothing like the open sea. This takes me back a good 40 years. <laughs> Don't get too carried away or you'll throw out your back again, you old coot. <laughs> Those geezers sure are fired up, huh? I'm worried, though. Is involving them in this plan really a good idea? Well, the strategy is a sound one, at least. Those old guys are pretty cool in my book. I like their style. If somebody that cool is wrong, then I don't want to be right. All right, everyone. We'll go over the plan for this joint operation with Ilmer Village one more time. The White Whale seems to have a habit of going after ships. So, we'll sail the Sandras through the area at top speed to lure him out. Once he's spotted us, we'll lead him to a reef due west of Ralphos Island. Aye. There, the villagers will use their fishing nets to trap the whale in the reef. Then, we make our way out of the reef and head straight for Ralphos Island. And from there, we land and launch an attack on their fort, yeah? 
This is the first time I've ever had to do something like this for real. <laughs> well, I know I'm ready to kick some undying ass. That poison Dr. Flair whipped up will let the rest of us finally help out. Adel and I will lead the charge. Once we're ashore, I want you to take the helm, Ezer. Understood. Wraith, Gren, and Doki will make up the next wave after us. Your job will be to deal with any enemies that slip by me and Adel. Got it. We'll also be escorting any rescued villagers from Ilmer back to the ship. I guess that's a fair price to pay for the old guy's help. Well, not like we wouldn't rescue the villagers either way. Our ultimate goal is either to take Yurth out completely, or at least drive her out of these waters. We can do this. Right, Adel? Aye. Just you wait, Yurth. This time, we're gonna pay her back twofold for what happened at Karnak. Dealing with the white whale, slipping into the fort. Our to-do list just keeps piling up. You're telling me, are we really up to the job? This battlefield is ours alone to storm. Help never came back in Karnak, and that's not changing here. <sighs> I don't want to have to go through anything like that ever again. That's the whole reason I joined this crew to begin with. We got this in the back. We're closing in on Rafos Island. Any sign of the whale? Um, none yet. Rosa's on lookout duty? That's a pretty big responsibility. She's sharp-sighted with a keen eye for detail. Besides, she's been looking to prove herself for a while now. That's a feeling I can understand. Oh? Now we lead him toward the reef! Rosa! Don't take your eyes off that whale! Yes, ma'am! All right, men! We're up! Hmm. Let's show them what the fishermen of Ilmer Village can do. Yeah! Land alive! He's struggling harder than we planned on! It's like he doesn't even care if he gets hurt! He's so strong! It's unreal! Don't count us out yet, Roggle! We've still got some fight left in these musty bones! The fishing boats! Hey! Those old-timers are in trouble over there! We still need their help down the line. There's gotta be something we can do for them. But he's not reacting to the fishing boats at all. Maybe he's still trying to go after the Sondras for some reason. She's right. But how can he tell the Sondras apart from any other ship? Huh? Then what is he... Oh, I get it. If Yurth's involved, then that makes sense. When it came to Ethi, she sent him after me and Adel specifically. <laughs> I know exactly what you're thinking. And I agree. Can't let the old timers have all the fun, huh? Change of plans, everyone! Ezer, take the helm right away! Uh, understood! Hey, what are you planning? 
You maniacs. Let's do this, brother! And jump! Great! He's coming this way! Let's throw him to that island over there! Time to move, Adol! Right at us. Above us. It's crumbling. Get him move on. He's coming from below! <laughs> All right! Just keep on luring him! Rock's incoming! Bring it on! We'll dodge him! Right when we need it! Now we can face him here. Whoa! He's not slowing down at all! A Grieger? Was that thing controlling him from the inside like some kind of parasite? Yeah! 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 
up, Korja! He really was being controlled by that Grieger parasite. I, we're finally headed for the real fight. First off, we'll need the Sandras to swing by and pick us up. Let's make our way back to the reef. Yeah! Pretty sure something's around here. Oh, found something! Sure, something's around here. Oh, found something. <laughs> yeah. Want to take a break here? Is that? Is he offering to give us a ride? I, I'm not getting any hostility from him anymore. Whoa! He's taking us to Rolfo's Island. We're drawn close to Ralphus now. The plan might have changed a little, but we'll just have to roll with it. Adol! Karja! We'll use the Sondras to draw the enemy ships away from the fort! Then you guys use the opening to make landfall and start kicking some ass! Me, Rafe, and Dogi will be right behind you. Sure you'll be okay? Yes! We'll make do somehow! Enemy ships approaching off the bow! So they spotted the Sandras already. Guess this is our chance for a surprise attack. Alright guys, we're going in! I hear you loud and clear! That was a big help. Thanks. Rafe, 
right then. So that's your sport, huh? I guess it's finally time. Your brand! No doubt about it. She's definitely here. You said it! It's not gonna go down like it did in Karnak. Pretty sure something's around here. Oh! Found something! Better mark this air. Sorry, but can you run me an errand? Came out pretty good. What's next? Thanks, Hugo. <laughs> Sorry, but can you run me an errand? do it what's next Pretty good. What's next? Thanks, Hugo. <laughs> Pretty sure something's around here. <laughs> yeah. Something's off. Might want to mana sense around. Yeah! Huh? 
Fear not thy fate. Those who fall with valor shall be ushered into their divine kingdom. Th those mono willing brats are here? But that can't be! Their ship is still out there! We have our orders from Lady Yurd. You won't set foot beyond this point! For her! <laughs> Okay, let's make our way inside. Like a sturdy one. Maybe one of the villagers from Ilmer? We'll just have to take it down. You guys, oh, fright! The village. What happened to the village? Are you from Ilmer? Yeah, my name's Toma. Th that's what's been going on. I guess we didn't end up doing any good in the end, after all. It's okay. You don't have to try and make me feel better. I got upset with my old man when the Grieger first showed up because I thought he was being too cautious. So my friends and I stormed out of the village and tried to fight them off. We had no idea just what we were dealing with. I can respect wanting to take him head on rather than running away. Yeah, but in the end, it didn't do any good. We even wound up being forced to help them. <laughs> hey! Adol! Karja! Woo! Finally managed to catch up with you. 
Oh, don't worry about them. Lissandra's is still out there keeping them busy. We waited for a chance to slip by and had the ship drop the three of us off. Our opening gambit might have changed, but from this point on, we're back to the plan. Shall we start by escorting this guy to safety? Th thank you. I'd appreciate that. You and Karja go on ahead, Adel. I'm sure everyone else on the Sandros will be here soon enough once they settle things out on the water. Aye. Counting on you guys. Almost impressed they built this fort. But I guess it's just an old. Another puppet here, too? Shatter! 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 Is. Huh? <coughs> Seems they brought some of the Karnak townsfolk here, too. You, you! What was I? So then, that nightmarish hellscape wasn't just a dream after all. Pops? Oh, Gren? That's good. You made it out okay then. I, uh, how do I put this? About Karnak. I know. They told me what happened. Uh, I see. <sighs> Pardon me, Adol, but is there some place I can go to catch my breath? No doubt I'd only slow you down if I stayed put. Uh, all right. Sorry to trouble you, son. I'm still feeling a bit out of sorts. Uh, sh sure. Uh, Rafe should be pretty close by, too, so... Yeah, we'll get him figured out. Okay, Adol. Let's press on. Something's around here. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure something's around here. Huh. Didn't expect this here. Something's off. Might want a mana sense around. Oh, found something. Pretty sure something's around here. Oh, found something! Mana! Yeah! Yeah! Take 
forces. Another puppet? There sure are a lot of them around here. Great Dawson from Karnak, that's who. You know this guy, Adol? Course you do. I am pretty well known around town, after all. <clears throat> this guy seems like a real pain in the hind. He's not one of the villagers from Ilmer. So let's just leave him here and move on. Yeah, yeah, I figured you'd say that. Oh, that guy's another one from Karnak, isn't he? Gosh, would you look at that. Drunk as a skunk. Good timing. Could we have you deal with this guy? That's what I'm here for. Sure thing. You two be careful. Hmm. <laughs> 
you. Probably should have spoken up earlier. Don't think you're gonna like it, though. We gotta go back to where we left Rafe. Now. No time to explain. Let's just hurry and get back there. <laughs> what are you doing, you bastard? Wasn't expecting to do this here. I worried I'd lost my chance after what happened to Karnak. But, seems the trip home was worth it after all. Damn it! We're not gonna... Gren. Hey! What the hell's going on here? Rife! What are you doing? This is Dawson! Your dad! That's what I was afraid of. There's no way he could be drunk if he'd only just been turned back into a human. Gosh, would you look at that. Drunk as a skunk. He must have been a pretty heavy drinker before, though. <sighs> Rafe, what the hell has gotten into you? Not a thing. But if you really plan to stop me, it'll have to be over my dead body. <laughs> Gren. Surely you can understand how I feel. If only a little. Even if I do, that still doesn't make it right! Is this the reason you became a mercenary? Hey, you crazy asshole! Why the hell are you trying to kill me?! What'd I ever do to you?! I ain't never even met you before! <laughs> are you serious? You really think blatant lies will get you out of this? I don't think he's lying, Rafe. The booze really took its toll on him while you were away. It doesn't seem like he remembers anyone. Not you, your mom, or... What? Uh, uh. What do you mean, he can't remember? There's no way. I'm not really sure what the whole story is here, but it seems pretty thorny. At any rate, don't worry about this. I'll take Dawson back to the ship myself. Thanks. We appreciate it. Gren, you go with Rafe. Dogi. Okay, I understand. Adel, Karja, you two go on ahead. We can't let everyone's efforts getting us here go to waste. Damn straight! Feel that, Shill brother? The air's thick with the stench of bloodlust. Let's go pay that witch back for her little nighttime spree in Karnak! Wanna take a break here? you did on Kalon and Fallen. After all your little interferences, you dare sully my fort with your filthy presence? Karja! Adol! 
How much further must you torment me before you'll be satisfied? You started all of this when you raided Karnak. Who in hell is this vessel you're after? And why are you trying to find him? You mind your tongue, girl. The vessel is the one who will become our liege. Your liege? We, Grieger of the Trident, were born into this world from our human liege. And it is they whom we admire and respect above all else, who we long to serve with every fiber of our beings. Putrid whelps like you would do best not to speak of matters you know nothing about. Grieger born from a human? How can that be? And if it's true, then why do you look down on us humans? How dare you even presume yourselves an equal to our liege? No matter the era, you humans never change. You constantly discriminate, categorize, and restrict one another with all your little labels and rules and lines in the sand. In this way, you mask your fears and anxieties, shackling yourselves for the illusion of comfort and safety. Why, oh why, do you so desperately long to cast all your freedoms aside? I wonder if you might be able to understand, Adol. Human beings live their lives ever at the mercy of someone or something. That is precisely why I make them into my puppets. To liberate them from that wretched existence. Karja! Adol! Come join their ranks and experience true freedom! <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to liberate you. <laughs> How shall I have you squeal for me next? Damn, she's fast. You want to figure out a way to pin her down, Adol? You have wit. How stiff! You will come to regret this. Switch! Nice try! Away with you! Littering about. Out of me. <laughs> Someone who's in the ground fast. Hope you're ready for some just desserts, <laughs> yours. An exclusive show just for you. <laughs> How unsightly. Get hit. Very little. Impossible. <laughs> Cretans! How could this be? Other warned me that young humans could improve at a rapid pace, but... <sighs> Wings? Where did those come from? As though I'd ever tell you! First you scar my face, and now you have the gall to pile even more indignity upon me! But even if you manage to get through here, you'll never make it all the way to the Marine Triangle. The Balta Sea Force will come to no true despair in the waters ahead. I promise you this! Flood and Thunder! He let her get away! Aye. We'll put an end to her for real the next time we see her.
Thank you so much for everything. You brought my dad back safe and sound. I'm really sorry you had to go through that, son. I put you in danger all because I wasn't willing to listen to Grandpa and Roggle. <laughs> That's enough of that. You probably would have been more willing to listen to us if we'd been better about listening to you. Let's talk things over. Not just about fishing, but about how we'll all move forward from here. I'd like that, Roggle. Adol, Karja, we truly can't thank you enough. I shudder to think what might have become of us if you hadn't shown up. Well, technically, our plan didn't really work in the end. The only reason things ended up coming together was because of your quick thinking and unwillingness to give up. Hey, if you ask me, you guys were really impressive holding back the white whale and nothing but a few fishing boats. It was magnificent. You overcame all the odds like true men of the sea. You folks sure know how to bring a smile to an old man's face. It just occurred to me, but are you the rest of the Sandras' crew? Never in all my years would I have expected you to be a gaggle of teenage tenderfoots. I see. What happened to Karnak? It must have been very hard for you, losing your home. And yet, despite that... More like because of it, actually. We can't let any more people suffer the way we did. Gren... Yeah, you're right. Well, at the very least, you'll always be welcome here in Ilmer. It can't replace the hometown you grew up in. We got all the fresh fish you can eat. Uh, that sounds wonderful! Oh, thank you so much! Mayor Clement, your town sure has some brave, commendable kids in it. Sometimes it can be hard for us old-timers to remember what it was like to be their age. But when I see them working so hard, it makes me feel like we still have a lot left to give. I appreciate the kind words, Chief. Having said that, Gren, there's no need for you and the others to be on the Sandras any longer. What? Mr. Carpent has informed me of the course of events so far. By the sound of it, you've made great efforts to overcome every hardship within your means. And I thank you for saving me and everyone else you've come across. <laughs> However, there's no need for you to continue putting yourselves in harm's way. Leave the rest to Adol and the Balsa Sea Force. Hold on a damn minute! We did all this. Got this far all on our own. We've learned so much from working with Adol and Karja. And now you want us to just... Yes, you've learned a lot. I'm not denying that. So why not back off while you're still alive and put that experience to good use? Do you really think you're capable of doing anything against those inscrutable monsters? Yes, things might have worked out for you so far, but are you confident you can continue to face them despite not being able to use mana? Confident? You want me to be confident? Well, I'm not, okay? Hmm? What do you mean by confident anyway? Being so prepared that there's not a single chance the slightest thing might go wrong? If that's what I need to wait for, then I'd be sitting around preparing till the day I die! Uh, uh, this situation is sink or swim. Why are we even having this conversation? Excuse me, Mayor Clement. Mirabelle? Do you remember back when the town was burning down around you? You came and tried to save us. I think Gren is just feeling the same way you did at that moment. From what I hear, he pleaded with the Bolta Sea Force all by himself to join in and help rescue his fellow townsfolk. It's understandable for a father to worry after his son, but do you truly find any fault in his feelings or the actions he's taken? Every parent has a responsibility to ensure the safety and happiness of their children. As a father yourself, Chief, I'm sure you can understand that. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. Oh my! He went right for the throat there! The mayor's still the same as ever, even in spite of everything that's happened. Damn it! Huh? Oh, you betcha! Let's get everything prepped and cast off! Speaking of father-son troubles, we've got another problem we still need to deal with. Wonder what he's planning to do now.
Mankind and the sea are bound. Anything else? <laughs> She's looking mighty fine now. Anything I'll be pray. Welcome. Anything goodbye for now. Handle your you so long. Adel, Karja. Rafe said he'd like to speak with you. Do you have a moment to hear him out? I take it you've calmed down a bit? Yeah. I'm sorry I jeopardized our operation on Ralphos like that. I still have my mom to think about, so I'd like to stay aboard the Sandras if you'll let me. But you should know that I haven't forgiven him. I'm sure I'm not the best person to ask this, but why were you willing to go so far? That man. My dad, Dawson, used to be the commander of the militia and the best swordsman in all of Karnak. Me and my little brother, Mark, couldn't have been more proud to have him as our father. Now that you mention it, I remember hearing the previous commander was a force to be reckoned with. And you say you've got a little brother? One I was very close to. We spent all our time together. Both of us dreamed of becoming militia members like our father when we grew up. But then one day, the militia tried to crack down on a group of pirates who'd been making trouble in town. His sword arm was wounded during the battle. After that day, he wasn't able to swing a weapon anymore. As a result, he had to leave the militia. It wasn't long before he'd developed an alcohol addiction. It'd make him violent at times, but we truly believed he'd snap out of it one day go back to the man we used to know. Mark and I both held on tight to that hope. It was the only thing that kept us going sometimes. But then one day, he tried to make me buy him booze with the money Mom had worked so hard to save up. And for the first time, I stood up to him with predictable results. Mark probably couldn't stand seeing him hit me over and over like that. So he offered to go buy the drink in my place. But as Mark ran to the store, a passing Roman army carriage sped by, trampling him to death beneath it. Ever since that day, I've had these dark, murky urges churning around in my chest. My dad was pretty famous in town, so I'm sure everyone knows. Reef. I want your skills on our crew, so you're still welcome on the ship. But, speaking as the captain, if you cause any issues while aboard, you'll get zero leniency from me. If you can accept those terms, then you've got my permission to come aboard. Momina is currently looking after Dawson. As long as she's there, I believe Rafe will be able to restrain himself. Right. Sorry to have caused you so much worry, Dr. Flair. There will always be cases where parents and children just can't see eye to eye. But no matter their relationship, there's still a bond between them that can never be broken. I suppose so. <sighs> At any rate, I understand your situation now. Board the ship as soon as you're ready. Aye aye, ma'am. Adol. Karja. Thanks.
At long last, we can finally get to the next region. Everyone! Off the starboard beam! Look! Look! <laughs> Seems like he came to see us off! All right, Adol. Set a course due south. We make for Specular Bay! Guess those kids didn't need any help from us after all. The princess has grown a great deal since she began working together with Adol. But I can't help wondering just why the Jarl... No, it's not my place to question. All shall proceed according to the will of Har. <laughs> 